This is a bottle design that I am currently working on. In this case study, we will be looking at how we can create this crisscross grid pattern. Can we create this using the emboss command? If we take a look at the underlying surface, it has curvature in two directions. We can see this from the side and from the top. Unfortunately, the emboss command can only be performed on surfaces with curvature in one direction, for example, a cylinder. So we will not be able to perform an emboss here, at least not directly. I'm going to use a method which I'm coining the surrogate emboss method. The idea is to create a body which approximates the actual final body, but which has curvature in only one direction. This body will serve as a surrogate body on which the emboss can be performed. This will be followed by a few surfacing operations to achieve the final shape. I want to be clear in stating that the final result will not be a true geometrical wrap. It can only create an illusion of a wrap. In the case of this bottle design, a cylinder can serve as a surrogate for the actual final body. From this point on, we shall call the final body the parent body. I have provided a link for a file which you can download to follow along. This file will come with the parent's body, the surrogate body, and a few sketches. The parent body was created by lofting between these two circular profiles. In creating the surrogate cylindrical body, the general rule here is that it should not exceed the confines of the parent's body. I have a sketch here that defines the grip pattern. We will use this sketch to split the surrogate body. Let's hide the parent's body for the moment. Go to Modify, Split Body. Select the surrogate body as a body to split and select the sketch as the splitting tool. We will no longer need this portion. Right click on this body in the Bodies folder and remove. I have created an offset plane here parallel to the front plane. Let's create the profile sketch for the pattern on this offset plane. Hide the surrogate body. Draw a right angle triangle. Align this point vertically with the origin. Convert these two lines into construction. Mirror the hypotenuse across a vertical line. And the horizontal line. We have created the starting diamond shape. Draw a line from the center and snap the other end to the center of this edge. You will know that you have snapped to the center when you see a triangle appear. Repeat this for the adjacent edge. Convert these two lines into construction. These two lines will form the directions for the stagger pattern to create a crisscross effect. Normally, I would discourage users from creating a pattern within a sketch. I will make an exception in this case. During testing, I was not able to successfully pattern a single embossed feature with the different compute options. Creating a sketch pattern was the only way I could make this work. Go to Create, Rectangular Pattern. Select the four edges of the diamond as the objects. For directions, click on the Select box and select these two lines. Change distance type to spacing. For both direction type, change them to symmetric.
adjust the quantity and distance for both directions. Let's bring back the surrogate body. The pattern needs to be large enough to wrap around the surrogate surface. I will suggest a save at this point. Go to Create, Emboss. Box select All Profiles. For Faces, click on the Select box and select this face. We want to adjust the emboss depth to go beyond the face of the parent's body. Let's bring back the parent's body and adjust the emboss depth accordingly. We need to find a way to trim off the excess. Take note also that the emboss features are an offset of the cylindrical face, so there is no curvature in this direction. We want to trim in a way to follow the curvature on the parent's body. Let's hide the surrogate body for the moment. Activate the Surface tab. Go to Create Offset. And create an offset surface. Adjust the distance according to how deep you need the grip features to be. Let's bring back the surrogate. If we use this surface to perform a split body, we will create a long list of bodies which we then have to delete or hide. A better way is to use a thicken cut command. In this way, we do not create any new bodies. Go to Create, Thicken. Select the offset surface. Adjust the distance until it completely encompasses the embossed features. Change the operation to Cut. Activate the Solid tab. Go to Modify, Combine. And combine both the parent and surrogate bodies into one single body. Do take note that because of the offset nature of the emboss, the final pattern region will not coincide exactly with the original sketch line that was used to delineate the pattern region. So you will need to estimate and adjust accordingly.